Healthcare.com for more information. Health, wellness, Coventry Healthcare. Wichita State, all of these guys can score. All of these guys defend. All of these guys rebound. They are powerful, and the perimeter game is as good as any in the country. And for Indiana State, they're ready for a big game. These guys are experienced, coming off one of their best halves of the season when they rallied from a double-digit deficit on the road at Northern Iowa on Saturday. Good officiating crew. David Hall has the toss, and Wichita State has the first possession. It'll be interesting to see how Indiana State defends the on-ball screens. Wichita State exposed Indiana State in their big victory in Wichita earlier this season. Greg Lansing worked on it all day yesterday at practice. And Takeo Cotton hits a three to get the shocker started. He's not a great three-point shooter, but he hit two big ones Saturday against Evansville when the Shockers needed it down 15. Watch the matchup to Kiel Cotton, number 32, matched up with Jake Odom, number 13. Odom is the guy that makes this offense flow. He's had triple doubles in his career. He started since day one here. Ten to shoot. Baker with the steal. And a foul on Dewan Cummings of Indiana State. The Shockers, Mark, I want to ask you about it. Here's Greg Lansing, the only coach in Indiana State history to take the Sycamores to three straight postseason appearances. He can make history tonight if he wins this game. If Indiana State wins their 18th game, it would be the first time in program history that the Sycamores have put together four straight 18-plus win seasons. Impressive by Greg Lansing. Early. And Odom with the rebound. Again, Wichita State. One of the best rebounding teams in the country. Odom leads the break. His own man gets in the way. Baker, and he'll go to the line. Mark your keys. It's all about play and three points tonight. Points in the paint, points off turnovers, second chance points. Whoever wins that battle, or frankly, if Indiana State stays close in that battle, it gives them a chance to knock off the undefeated Chockers. Wichita State pounds you in those categories. They're plus 18 versus their opponents on the season. They were plus 30 in the win versus Indiana State. And yet last year is Ron Baker to the line, an outstanding foul shooter normally, third in the Valley at 85%. In 39 Shocker games last year, they were only out-rebounded four times. Indiana State did it twice. Well, Indiana State has a gang rebounding mentality. You saw Jake Odom get the first defensive rebound of the game. The team against Wichita, one and done. You've got to rebound the ball. Baker splits a pair. Wichita State with the first four points. And DeJuan Cummings, Mark, now with two early fouls for the Sycamores. Wichita State is the only team in the nation to lead their conference in both scoring offense and scoring defense. That's a rare feat. Gant in trouble. And Van Vliet trails and hits a three. Just two of his last 11 before that. And Wichita State off to a great... Wichita State is doing it on the defensive end. They're getting deflections, which leads to breakout offense. Tequil Cotton leading the break. He sees Van Vliet, plus 40 from three, gives it to his point guard. Points off of turnovers, early advantage for Wichita State. Part of the play angry points. Foul here on the three-point attempt. Lee Anthony Early tries to get out on Justin Gant. It'll be three shots for the Sycamores. And Gant needs a big game for Indiana State if they're going to pull the upset. He had three turnovers in the game in Wichita on January the 18th. But he's played very well lately. 11 for 17 from the floor over the last two games. When Justin Gantz scores, Indiana State wins. It's really that simple. He's good at the line, 77%. 
This is where a shooter can gain confidence as well. For him to go to the line, get three freebies early, that gives Justin Gant a lot of confidence, which frankly, he didn't have any of at Wichita. They shut him down. And a rare mistake by Trey Anthony Earl. Wichita State faces now some of their own medicine here. They're usually good on pressure defense, pressure defense by the Sycamores. I like this move by Greg Lansing because you got to throw everything at Wichita State and get this crowd in the game. How do you do that? With turnovers. Inverts and scores. That's what I like about Wichita State's offense. They can invert. They can take a perimeter guy like Lee Anthony Early. He can go on the block and score. And Van Vliet rebounds. Their guards also rebound. He gets four a game. Cotton five. Baker four. And Wichita State scores in transition. Boy, Ron Baker really in attack mode tonight. I like his psyche early. He's attacking the basket, getting himself in the floor, not from the three-point line, but at the rim. It's the way he played last year in the NCAA tournament after he missed 21 regular season games. Watch Cree Anthony early down low. Let him get position and get low and get the defender on his hip and then straight up to the basket. That's such a luxury to have one of your guys who can get outside and inside. And then Ron Baker, number 31 in black. Man, he's attacking the rim. He's been settling a little bit for his three ball. I like the fact that he's going to the rim early tonight. Yeah, the three's left him a little bit. He's just six of his last 23. And Odom was avoiding a foul there. He had two fouls in the game early in Northern Iowa. And there you see they got to have him on the floor. Two-foot jump stop. He's as good as anybody. But just stopping the paint, 12-foot little floater. Ball movement. Look at Indiana State. They're daring Wichita State to take the perimeter shit jump shot, and they are rewarded. Particularly if Colby takes it from out there. Odom, a rare turnover. He had three in the game in Wichita, however. Carter contested. Out of, out of bounds to Indiana State. Anybody in the country because he respects him and studies him. Again, Odom, who had the unusual three turnovers in Wichita last year, the upset win at Coke Arena, the broken Wichita State 19 game winning streak. He had four assists and only one turnover on the ratio. I'd like to see Manny Arop get a touch. There he is right there, number three in white. Launches and hits over Baker, not easy to do. You've got to get your best player a touch and in the flow. And Greg Lansing comes out and gets Manny Arop a quality touch. Fourth in the league in three-point shooting percentage. He was just 28% last year. Manny Arop, one of those guys that can drop 20, 25 on you. One of these Sycamores who all score in that 10 to 11 point range. Somebody's got to go off. I think it needs to be Arop. Cotton's already hit a three. Blue field. Works it underneath, but can't finish. And a foul the other way to go against Darius Carter, the Shockers. Closed captioning for tonight's telecast is made possible by Emerson, the global technology and engineering company. To learn more, visit Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it so. And here's Wichita State's pressure. We've talked about it before. If you're a guard playing against Wichita State, though, you've got to be a fighter pilot. They'll change things up. They're impressive the way they change their presses. And they have such active hands. Fred Van Vliet, number 23 in black. To Cotton, number 32 in black. They get a lot of deflections. And Baker, number 31 in black, anticipates passes well. There's Baker on A-Rock. Odom finds Kitchell and a foul on Wichita State. Baker tried to slide under and get the offensive foul. Watch 
Watch Jake Odom's eyes. Oftentimes, his nonverbal communication is as effective as anything he says on the floor. His eyes direct his players into the open spaces of the court, and he recognizes his open, oh, those open spaces so well. Kitchell, they need minutes out of him tonight. He's only 55% at the line, but he's got to give him strong minutes in the post. He added 25 pounds or so to his frame since he's been in this program. Well, he's in there to do one thing and one thing only defensively rebound the basketball. If you get points out of him, that's a plus. But he's a big body that needs to rebound the ball well. And after getting a shot early from the Shockers, Indiana State's within two at the 14-36 mark. I like that little full court pressure. It cuts down the shot clock for Wichita State. State just pack it inside the paint. Devontae Brown has picked up the foul. Indiana State yesterday worked repeatedly on trying to prevent the corner from getting turned. How often did the Shockers do that in Wichita? A lot. And that was the problem. And that's why you see Indiana State. They're begging Wichita State to take the three ball. They're all sagging near the paint. Just watch the white jerseys, how they don't extend. Nice delivery, and Carter gets his first two of the game. That's just good, smart, patient offense right there. Good job of shrinking the defense, dribbling up the slack, and getting it inside. A great save by a -Rob. Still got a problem, and Odom rescues him. Christian Smith. And a -Rob steps out of bounds. Be a part of Arch Madness by stopping by Purina Dog Chow displays at participating Schnucks and Hy-Vee locations. Or visit archmadness.com to get your Purina Dog Chow family fun pack. The family fun pack gets you tickets, sodas, two popcorns. Four tickets, four sodas, and two popcorns. Only 60 bucks. Can't beat it. Get your Purina Dog Chow family fun pack today. It is one of the greatest postseason tournaments in America. Arch Madness in St. Louis. It comes alive. It's like a four-day bowl game in St. Louis. Cotton tried to skip it, and the Shockers turn it over. Thirty-three and eight on the road over the last three plus seasons. One thing about Greg Marshall's team—they're always going to rebound well. They're always going to defend well. There are games where they shoot below twenty percent from three on the road and still win. They want to defend so well. They won at St. Louis. They won at Alabama. They won at Virginia Tech on their NIT championship run. And these guys have had some big road wins. And Burnett trying to get it back. And Brandon Burnett has picked up his first person. Winning at St. Louis was what really caught my attention. Not only they won, but they scored 70. Nobody goes to St. Louis and wins 70. That Billigan team is good. They're zeroing in on a nice NCAA seed. And Jimmy Cruz, the former Evansville head coach. Wichita State really moving the ball well from side to side. Late shot clock, then they're attacking off the dribble. Baker, smooth, finds the void. Notice how they're shrinking that defense to get a nice look at that 15-foot range for Ron Baker. They've done it two consecutive possessions by being patient and dribbling up the slack to the defense. Mitchell's already got two bonus. He was testing fate that time. Yeah, they leave him isolated down there, too. They feel like Darius Carter can handle it, and he did. Baker blows by Odom. Terry Oglesby's going to give it to Wichita State. This is out the next two to three weeks with some knee issues and did not play against Indiana State on Saturday. I 
I'd like to see Christian Smith get an opportunity here. Number 32 in white. There he is. Brown decides to fire it in. Devontae Brown, he had eight last year in the first half in that upset at Wichita. He also played well at Notre Dame. Ten points in that game. Shadrach Lufield has called for an offensive foul inside. John Pollock follows, I guess both of us on Twitter, follows the Valley. Wear blue, get crazy. They're doing it tonight, at least the, uh, the Foresters. Yeah, there's a lot of blue in the house tonight. There's a smattering of yellow as well. There's some shockers in the house. That Greg Lansing, his daughter Maggie, and his son Kellen both traveled with the team on a snow day. That's a pretty good snow day, wouldn't you say? Well, and they had to come in today, the day of the game. They wanted to come in last night, but... About seven or eight inches of snow here in Terre Haute last night. They had to come in this morning. Well, I think it's a non-factor. Odom's got a launch for three. And nailed it! How many big shots has he made in his career? He was just two of his last 13 from three. He had a career-high four threes against Wichita State as a sophomore. Watch how Wichita State gets late shot clock, and then they get in the gaps. They shrink the defense to 15. Wiggins answers three for three. Andrew Wiggins, big brother Nick Wiggins, had two threes against Evansville Saturday. Before that, he was 5 of 25 from bonus distance. Yeah, if he starts making threes, it's another weapon for the number two team in the country. This time jump by early, and Burnett's got it for Indiana State. Opportunity for second chance points right now. Smith slashing. How good can Christian Smith be? Right now, I think he's the sixth man of the year in the Missouri Valley. Awesome feet inside. So, so smart. To kill Cotton dribbled up the slack, which means he attacked two defenders, caused them to gain attention, and then Shadrach Lufield went right to the rim. That is just smart basketball. Lufield had his best game as a shocker against Indiana State 18 days ago when he had a double-double in the career-high 11 boards. Four-point game at nine minutes of the first half. Wiggins challenges Smith too much. Foul on Nick Wiggins. Yeah, they've had some big wins now. The win over Notre Dame was a good one earlier. But last year, people forget they beat Miami. And Miami won the ACC with Jim Laranig. They also beat Creighton and Wichita State last year as well. Of the last four games against nationally ranked teams, Indiana State won three of those four. Their only loss at Wichita State this season. The delay was for Christian Smith to be attended to. You see a wrap on his left arm. Three-point game at 8.57 mark of the first half. Again, Wichita State, 23-0. After Arizona went down, only they and Syracuse remain atop unbeaten. Van Vliet now out of the game. Ron Baker takes over point guard duties for Wichita State. Well, they don't miss a beat when he does it. Nice. And Early gets fouled. Demetrius Moore had to recover quickly, but a nice little fake handoff by Clay Anthony Hurley. Watch the hesitation by Clay Anthony Early. He comes this way, acts like he's going to hand off, and just takes the ball right over the top. And directly to the basket. Is that an option for him? Is that a free throw? That's an option for him. But you know what? He might have gotten away with a little bit of a carry right there. <laughs> but what an NCAA tournament he had early last year. He was a showstopper against Louisville in the Final Four. 24 points and 10 rebounds. The first NCAA all tourney's first team selection since Larry Bird in Indiana State here in the late 70s. Mitch, you know what I like best about his game? 
his mid-range game. He shoots 55% from two-point range. He saw his ability to convert, score on the block. He can face up to 15, and he's tall enough to see all the defenders and shoot over them as well. The bigger the game, the bigger he plays. 26 at Alabama. He had a career-high 14 rebounds to rescue him at Missouri State. Indiana State worked on this press break, too, all day yesterday. So far, so good. Oh, deep three. Not sure that's the shot Greg Lansing wanted from that deep. Look at that early on the shot. Idle trying to hang with Baker. And does so. to go right as intentional. I think that's an intentional foul. And Gant gets the call. They're going to call it on the floor, so no shots. Four, Wichita. The, the donor said it's got to be higher than Magic Johnson's. I mean, it looks just like the jump shot is dead on. It is really a, a work of art. I, I just love to get the chance to see it. Greg Lansing with a chat with David Hall saying maybe a carry, but his team defensively has been good, and they've held their own on the boards with Wichita State after getting creamed in Wichita. And the Shockers had 15 offensive rebounds. Well, if Greg Lansing right now down by five, if this thing can be a close game coming down the stretch, he's 24 and 12 in games decided by five points or less. He's one of the most underrated, under-recognized coaches in the country. Greg Lansing from Indiana State. Remember that name. The old Harlan Strike from his dad, a legendary high school coach in Iowa. Wiggins will go to the line. Tonight's Valley Scholar athlete of the game is Wichita State's Garrett Bailiff, a senior outfielder from Tuttle, Oklahoma, for the Shocker baseball team. Hit 379, 39 RBI, 11 stolen bases last year. Bailiff's got a 337 GPA in exercise science here in First Team Valley Scholar Athlete Honors in 2013. The name second team all valid. And I've learned to appreciate college baseball players who do well in the classroom because they miss a lot of Because, because you didn't. No. No. <laughs> you know which class those guys miss in the spring? They're playing midweek road games. About the same amount of classes you missed. Well, yeah. But you weren't playing baseball. How do you know? I took some BP. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Those no, guys, I, 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 but I mean, seriously, those guys have to work their tails no, off. they do. A lot they of studying do. on the bus in hotels for baseball players. Hey, any athlete that pulls a 3.37 is doing a lot of extra time in the study hall and in dedication and discipline. Well done. Those guys are playing 60 games squeezed in February and May. Wiggins has been good tonight off the bench. He's got five. And back to a seven-point lead for the Shockers. Evan Wesson now in the game. He brings defensive toughness. Number three in black matched up with Christian Smith. That's a nice matchup to watch right now. One of those legendary Wichita Heights teams with Terry Ellis. And now Kansas A-Rop able to slither inside. Manny a -Rock does some of the same things that Clay Anthony Early does. You can get him in the paint. He can face up. He's got a nice two-point game. Carter forcing that one. That's a man's rebound right there. Kadeem Colby. We saw an inversion earlier by Early. They do the same thing now the other one. That's how they use Manny Aroff as he curls off the screen, gets right in the paint. Because of his athleticism and size, he scores over bigger defenders. Even with the help defender coming, he's athletic enough to finish. Aaron, one of the many Canadians playing Division I basketball. Nick Wiggins from this team from Canada. He played on the World University team for Team Canada. He started at Gonzaga and then transferred here to Indiana State. I talked to Manny before the game, and I asked him to describe his attitude going into this game in one word. He said aggressive. And so far, he has been. Colby stays right at his average, hitting one out of two at the line. I'd go to a Rock again. He's in the flow, number three in white, matched up with Baker. Watch the matchup. And Cotton's on Odom. a Rock bricks 
next one, and a great job defensively by Baker. And Ron Baker won that one-on-one -on -one defensive to offensive matchup. And Baker gets three on the other end. You just saw Ron Baker go left and shoot with the right. Hard thing to do, but he's mastered the footwork. After he just played lockdown defense in the other end. Biggest lead of the game for Wichita State at nine. Odom has it poked away. Wichita State will keep it. Watch Ron Baker as he goes left. Watch him just square his shoulders straight up and down. That is picture-perfect jump shot motion going left, always under control. We featured him Saturday catching off the pass and shooting. That time he does it off the dribble. It's harder to do off the dribble, Mitch, but he's very, very good at it. Indiana State needs a bucket instead. Kadeem Colby, the Louisiana Lafayette transfer with a rebound for Wichita State. Boy, Baker at the point. He continues to learn and get better, backing up Fred Van Vliet at the point position. Said it's Saturday. NBA scouts are noticing the versatility in Baker's game. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Watch Baker. to get it released in time. Yes. And now they're going to say the air ball is a shot clock violation. That time Ron Baker went a little too long, but how good was Indiana State's defense? Indiana State's defense was awesome in that half-court possession. The defensive positioning, the inability of Wichita State to get into a gap. There was always a white jersey to help, and there was always hands up in the passing lanes and up in the shooting pocket. Well done. Saw Greg Lansing, he won the Valley in his first year as head coach here at Indiana State. That hadn't been done since the Bill Hodges year when Larry Bird, his senior year when they went, or junior year when they went 33-0. And now Burnett, last touch by Wichita State. Watch Indiana State's defense as they work together. They help. They get out. But they only play to the three-point line. They're sagging, taking away dribble penetration. Everybody's reacting to the ball. They force the pass, and then the challenge of the shot. That is textbook white jersey to Indiana State defense. And a three, and Indiana State needed it badly because Wichita State had been in their grill three straight possessions. Van Vliet now back in the game. Watch the offensive flow change for Wichita State. Cotton, big three for three answer. They just play different when Van Vliet is in control. really wants the ball. Burnett turns the corner. And Colby gets his 23rd block of the season in Van Vliet attacks. And Van Vliet with a reach in. For Indiana State University, really a special campus with a special statue now of a very special person and player, Larry Bird. How great is it this league's MVP is named after him? Very cool. Very cool. Bad pass by Kitchell. He put it in the face of Odom. The turnovers have been an issue for Indiana State. Six turnovers by the Sycamores. We're seeing why Wichita State is just so nasty on the road. They defend, they rebound. Indiana State shooting 39% from the floor so far in this game. And there's another offensive foul on Lufield. He's had two, of, two fouls, both on the offensive end. Stay tuned for a halftime report, a presentation of State Farm for Auto Home Life and Banking. Get to a better state. Mark, to your point. Watching Wichita State, they do it every night. They remind me of Bob Huggins' old Cincinnati teams. They play defense and rebound like the Seattle Seahawks play defense. It's every game. And it's aggressive. They're constantly in attack mode. They get in passing lanes. They defend the dribble well. They help off the dribble. A-Rock. Big time board and buck. 
A-Rock versus Cleanthony Early is as entertaining of a matchup as we're going to see. There they are again. And Early's going to the line because Wichita State's in the bonus. And A-Rock's got his foul, first foul. Danny A-Rock is Cleanthony Early's equal athletically. And there you see something that Clay Anthony Early does for Wichita State that Manny Edrop does for Indiana State. Watch him elevate. He has been aggressive. And every time Indiana State thinks they're going to get over the hump in this game, the Shockers have been able to answer it, showing you how tough they are mentally. Edrop trying to take matters in his own hands. Over early! Excellent vision. Carter blows the bunny. Okay, Carter, Carter, blew. Again. Carter blew. And Odom with the layup. Timeout, Greg Marshall. Here comes Indiana State. Really hard to be under control and still balanced while you're fading away. But that's how good of an athlete Manny A. Rock is. The Gonzaga transfer. sequence. Block shot, sprints to the other end, and now can get a three-point play. And then gets his own rebound. He crossed the line. They're going to call a foul here, however, on Wichita State on the rebound. It's one and one for Indiana State. I think Carter was gassed when he shot the free throw. When the Valley goes on the road, it considers these properties are home away from home. These hotels consistently support the Valley Television Network. Please call or visit these websites and these properties when making plans to follow your favorite team or your summer sports team during the spring and summer uh, throughout the Valley footprint. Special thanks to the folks here in Terre Haute at the Holiday Inn, man. Talk about an igloo. <laughs> it was... What a... Uh, it's like a Red Cross location for us to get in here through the winter storm. Christian Smith hits the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Wichita State, of course, flew in this morning. But there are no excuses for Wichita State. They're here to play. And in the days of chartered flights and things like that, travel can be a lot easier than it once was. Smith, who had 27. And the game at Evansville's got eight. The badly needed points. Sycamores are back within three under two. You need a shut-up player right now. Somebody that can shut the crowd up. Usually it's number 23, Fred Van Vliet. Van Vliet for three. There you go. There's your shut-up three for Van Vliet. His second three of the first half. A Rob, he answers. There's your wake up. Three on the other end. Shut up versus wake up. Brown staying with Van Vliet. Lufio rejected. Tie up. Indiana State's got the arrow. right now. And here's your pressure by Wichita State. Now they'll trap hot spots and run different pressures here. I 
to try to get a shot somewhere in the 45 second range of the game clock. That'll leave you 10 seconds on your next possession. Odom against the shorter Van Vliet. Excellent defense. Van Vliet will dominate this possession. He'll make the decision late in the shot clock. Bad pass. And Indiana State now can play for the last opportunity. And Greg Lansing will orchestrate the next 18 seconds. They're going to have Odom go from right to left. He's going to be looking for a Rop off the screen. Can't wait too long. He's got Wessel on it. This could tie it. Technology's rebounding. Well, in one of the most phenomenal stats for Wichita State is they've only been out rebounded 16 times in three and a half years. Indiana State did it twice last year, and they've done it in this game so far. It's just as it, Greg Marshall said, it doesn't happen very often, and Wichita State turns it over to start the second half. Wichita State is not usually at a 14 point deficit in play angry points at halftime. That typically doesn't happen. Well, they really, really want to get A-Rock going early. It's Baker, it's a match. Up and under. First lead of the night for Indiana State. Fifteen for Manny A-Rock. Kadeem Colby changes the game with his length right there. Shockers had four blocked shots in the first half. I'd like to see Cree Anthony early become a little bit more aggressive offensively for Wichita State. Number 11 in white. Oh, excuse me, in black. But he's got A-Rop hanging with him, Mark. Six to shoot. Van Vliet turns the corner. Misses the float. Here's where you run your offense through number three, Manny A. Rupp. He's the hot hand. Baker now matched up instead of Clee Anthony early. A little shorter defender. We'll see if they put him on the block. He beat Baker the last time on that up and under move. Moore. And again, Colby with the defense. in transition. I put a rock on the block and isolating with Baker. Number three versus 31. Moore not a score. They're going to say hands on Moore as he goes to the basket. This is on Colby as first. up with Manny Arup. They switched up to Ron Baker, so he took him into that mid-block range. Little head fake. He's got a size advantage over Baker. Quick underneath, off the glass. 30 is mid-range again. Good help. He recovers. Cops it. Wichita State's basketball. But I like the look. Keep giving it to Manny a -Rock. He's the guy that's got a lot of positive energy. He's the energy giver right now to this blue-clad crowd in Terre Haute. Greg Marshall went through a bunch of sets this morning at shoot-around. Again, they got in here late. They wanted to come in last night. The weather prohibited. Early bump, bucket. They 
during Arch Madness, visit the Valley Fan Hangout presented by Frontier Communications and delivered by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. The Valley Fan Hangout is located in the Sheraton St. Louis City Center, just steps away from Scott Trade Center. Well, it's a perfect gathering place during the tournament weekend. For additional information, visit archmadness.com slash fans. Honestly, Arch Madness is like an NCAA region. The Valley does such a great job, and they put on so many regionals and Final Fours. They know what they're doing. But it is seriously a four-day spectacle in St. Louis. It is a first-class event. My wife and son, they come because they enjoy the event a lot. You get to meet the players, the coaches. It's just a tremendous opportunity to wind down the Missouri Valley Conference season with the championship. Baker shuts off a rock this time. Seven to shoot. Odom's already hit a three. Nice block off by Clay Anthony early. Wichita State with a few turnovers here. It had not been their usual game. Now, this is the rebounding. They just destroyed Indiana State and Wichita on the boards. Look at the bottom. Wichita State, 7 and 6, went out rebounded over the last three years. But that's the number to keep in mind. That's 116 games. Yep. They've only been out rebounded no. 13 times in 116 games. And in the other games, they, they won 96% of them. Only Gonzaga, Creighton, and this team twice out rebounded Wichita State last year. A Rock, tough shot, great defense. Great defense by Ron Baker. He really got it, his grill on that shot. Invert again by Early and gets it. And another three point opportunity for Clee Anthony Early. Halftime adjustments. Greg Marshall as good as. I put a rop down on the block against the shorter Ron Baker. I think that's where a rop has an unfair advantage. And in coaching, all I want is an unfair advantage. Baker stays on him right here. Four-point lead for the Shockers. Bad pass by Christian Smith. Tip, tip, no, not there. Miss on the tip. Kitchell. A Rock finds Cummings. And a foul on Wichita State. It's on top. Boy, DeLon Cummings just made an easy shot really hard. A credit Ron Baker for hustling back defensively for Greg Marshall. But you've got to take the ball right to the rim and draw contact. Here's Devontae Brown out of Colleen Ellison. And Dwan Cummings will sit down. It might be because of that play. Brown in that central Texas area. He's given some good minutes all year to Greg Lancer. And Fleet is everywhere. He leads the league. He's fourth in the league in steals. He does everything for this team. For what I want in the point guard, he's the best point guard in the country. The only guy that I think is in the same league as Tyler Ennis of Syracuse, both undefeated. Let's check in now with the Valley Scores and Schedules, a presentation of Casey's General Score. Casey's famous for pizza. This isn't the only game in the Valley tonight. Missouri State getting after Evansville at the Ford Center. And Illinois State, Northern Iowa with those injuries. Tough now for Ben Jacobson. It really is. How about the job by Dan Muller at Illinois State? An entirely roster makeover. But that team has become more and more competitive as the season gone along. He's done a great job with the records. Baker missing him a three. Nobody blocks off Cotton. Suddenly, the tables are turning in the play angry point department. We've seen Clee Anthony early on the offensive glass. Now to kill Cotton on the offensive glass. And Baker hounding Manny A-Rock. A-Rock's got to work for every touch. And now he's on the block. I like this. Will there be help in Baker's foul unless early reached in? Nope, it's on Baker. And that is the second foul on Ron Baker. Keep going to that set. When you can isolate Manny A-Rock with Ron Baker down low, I think that's advantage Indiana State. 
how effective was it they did it on like the fifth pass of the rotation? It's not like they went down and just dove in and tried to enter it. Yeah, make the defense move. Now they clear it out for it. Idle can hit threes at home. Wichita State dodges an arrow. Idle, right, eight of his last 16 at home from three. Yeah, you expect him to make that shot. Big time screen set for Takale Cotton. Back to back buckets, and the Shockers are back up by eight. Shadrack Lufield set a nasty screen right there, and he is one big dude to set a screen. 7 0 run for Wichita State. Over the past three and a half minutes, Odom, good place to go to break the run. Boy, is he good? Is he fun to watch? His pace is incredible. The way he changes paces. That's what I love about him. He'll stop on a dime and accelerate. Luffy. Finish. Shuffled his feet a little bit right there. Got away with it. Four for Shadrach Luffy. One of the most improved players in Missouri Valley. Shadrach Luffy. Defense by Wichita State changing the rhythm of shot by game. Early fouled on a three by Brown. Watch Shadrach Lufield set this screen right there. And Jake Odom is blown up on that screen. Watch Jake. As he changes directions, changes speeds, Jake Odom, that's why he's so effective. He's not the quickest guy in Missouri Valley, but he's the quickest one from 0 to 30 and then 30 to 60. He does that so well, changing speeds. And early, he can get points in a hurry. Had a three-point play earlier this half. And now he gets three shots here. This is the biggest lead of the night for undefeated Wichita State. And there's the foul on the arm right there. You know what's interesting about that? Fred Van Vliet knew exactly what he was going to do coming down the field. He saw Clee Anthony early over his shoulder and just stopped, waited, hesitated, and gave it to number 11 in good scoring position. It's a little thing that he does. And all of a sudden, the Sycamores are down 11. Rock steals bad pass by Christian Smith. You're part of Arch Madness by stopping by Karina Dog Chat displays at participating Schnucks and Hive locations, or visit ArchMadness.com to get your Karina Dog Chow Family Fun Pack. The Family Fun Fun Pack gets you four tickets, four sodas, and two popcorns, only sixty dollars, best value in America. Get your Karina Dog Chow Family Fun Pack today and enjoy Arch Madness. And the dogs get a good deal at Arch Madness. And the fans. They do, and the turnovers have been an issue for Indiana State. And where they've turned it over has led to advantages for the Shockers. That's what Wichita State does to you. Early. Clanks that one. You knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Wichita State was fortunate he missed the first one. That was a huge basket. Or at least fouled again. This crowd needed something. Anthony Early, I think, is a close second right now. Two guys on the same team, that's why they're undefeated. To learn more about the Larry Bird Trophy, visit NBCSports.com. Emerson, consider it solved. And Early is asserting himself. There's a look at Van Vliet. First in the league in assists, fourth in steals, first in assists to turnover at a 4-1 to one ratio, one of the best in the country. And when you compare him to the great point guards in the country, statistically, he's superior in multiple categories. 
The only guy that's really close is Tyler Ennis from Syracuse. There's the numbers. There's the rebounds. Points per game. Assist per game. Assist to turnover ratio is equal. The place where Van Vliet has a little bit of an advantage is at the free throw line and a slight advantage of the 40% to three. Look at those numbers. A freshman point guard and a sophomore point guard, I think, are the two best point guards in the country right now. Idle wanted it back because he wants to hit a three. Hustle play. And David Hall's got a foul on Wichita State inside. Idle wanted the three initially. Ben Vleet's called for the foul. It's his second. Well, Jake Odom's going to take a blow right now. And Ron Baker coming in. I think Greg Marshall will probably take Fred Van Vliet out, which he will because he likes the matchup with Odom out of the game. you got to rest him sometime. You might as well rest him when Jake Odom is resting as well. Baker shut down a rock in the second half. He had that up and under move early in the second half, but that's it after having 13 in the first half. And he drew contact in the paint on his second possession in the mid-block range. Cummings hit some big threes against Northern Iowa. He has yet to score tonight. Dance Hustle. They're going to give it to Indiana State. You're out forcing that one. Yeah, that's a forced shot right there. But Christian Smith tips it out. Smith sees the opportunity. Ten for Christian Smith. And he's going to be here for a while. That kid has a huge upside for his career here at Indiana State. Hook. Offensive foul, I think, on... Let's take a look here at Christian Smith being aggressive. Yeah, Manny Arop decides to leave the block and go away to give Christian Smith the dribble penetration angle to the basket. And an offensive foul on Clay Anthony early. He hooked the Indiana State defenders he was driving to the basket with his offhand. This is a huge possession right now for Indiana State. I'd look for Christian Smith, number 32 of Manny Arop. Number three and white. There he is. Odom's back in, too. Ooh, Schmidt. That's a tough one. He had Darius Carter right yeah. in his face. That's a lot of length to shoot over. What a play. Leads to this. The 50-50 ball goes to Indiana State. And Jake Odom always has vision. Gets it to Dewan Cummings. And he changes his shot again. This is the second time he's been in scoring position. You've got to take it up strong and draw the contact. But Mark... Mitch Holtis with you along with Mark Adams. How many point guards in America can get that rebound against this team and then immediately look up the floor? Now Jake Odom has as good a vision as anybody in college basketball. There was a game last season at Southern Illinois where the wrong free throw shooter was sent to the line in late game situation. A 50% a free throw shooter was supposed to be on the line. An 80% free throw shooter was on the line. No one in the arena knew it was the wrong guy except for one guy. Jake Odom went to the official. They changed. They went to the monitor, changed the free throw shooter, and Indiana State won by one. That's how sharp this kid is, and this is how he sees the game. Cummings gets both free throws. Ron Baker's got three fouls now for Wichita State. Indiana State is within six. 9.50 to go. Undefeated Wichita State facing a challenge here tonight. Colby ripped out of there by Cummings. Odom somehow scores.
Cotton. Bad shot. And here comes the fighter pilot, Odom. And Colby's fouling. 20-20 court vision, Jake Odom. 50-50 balls are now going Indiana State's way. Juan Cummings comes up with it. Watch Jake Odom. He sees the spacing offensively and knifes from left to right off the glass. And then sees Cummings on the left-hand side. How does the vision of Jake Odom change the game significantly? And he has a sixth sense. Cummings. All three points have been at the line. And honestly, it's what Van Vliet does for Wichita State, too. They see everything. And they see it before it happens, like a good NFL quarterback. They anticipate multiple passes in advance. That's a gift from God. It's wonderful to watch. This is a two-point game. As close as Indiana State has been since the beginning of the half when they had their only lead at one, an 8-0 run. Watch Van Vliet. Eight to shoot. Cotton's got a pull. And he gets fouled on the shot. David Hall's got com slash MBB tickets to make a date with champions. Can you imagine I mean, Wichita State right now is on full throttle towards a one seat? Air ball on the free throw from Cotton. Kansas could be there. Creighton could be there. Can you amount to, imagine the drama at Scott Trade Center? I know where I'd be. I'd be in St. Louis. And I'd get the ticket right now. This selection Sunday, you wait for the bracket, man. It might be too late. <laughs> you might be shut out. Evan Russell back in for Wichita State. The third of three attempts here for Cup. I go full court pressure one time. Wichita State backs off. We got foul issues. Indiana State is in the bonus. Wichita State in the game. Well, Indiana State has done a good job of slowing the pace for half-court sets for Wichita State. And off the deflection, Lufield steps out of bounds. Seven. Dead even. And remember, at halftime, a serious plus for the Sycamores. They were plus 14. In the second half, Wichita State now is plus three in the playing group points. Odom keeps the dribble alive. Gann helps him out. He gets across with two seconds to spare. Gann does, and now they get to set things up. Cotton back on a -Rock. Red Van Vliet has deferred a lot to his teammates here in the second half. What a hustle play. Timeout called by Greg Marshall. He was upset. Prominent programs in the country. Welcome back, Wichita State, to the big time. And trying to hold off Indiana State here in the last seven minutes. Three to shoot. Cummings. 
three ball has not been there all night for him. What hustle by game. Point blank. Nothing. That hurts. No, no field goals for Cummings after he had 19 against the Shockers in Wichita. I really thought he was an X-Factor guy coming into this game, and he just has not scored well. They got Anthony Anthony early matched up with Jake Odom down low. You've got to recognize it and get it to him. He's still trying to get the ball. Get to him now. There it is. And a bucket. Better late than never. You gotta recognize your mismatches. Van Vliet did. Baker went out on the perimeter, and you can't double down off of Baker. Good read by Ron Baker. 16 for Clay Anthony early. 12 in the second half. That's what great teams do. They recognize opportunities. Odom. You feel Indiana State get a little tight? Tired, maybe, too. Yep. They've exerted a lot of energy to stay in this game. Suddenly you start thinking, we can beat an undefeated team. You can use this as an opportunity, or you can see it as something that's insurmountable. Yeah, there's not there's only physical fatigue. There's mental fatigue, too. But here's the guy to lead them if they can do it. Gant trails. Gets the roll. Justin Gant. He's really giving his team a lift here. Three-point game at five minutes. Awesome pass from Baker. Last two baskets came from the pass from Ron Baker. A-Rock tripped. He has been silent here in the second half other than two points. Register to win a St. Louis Arch Madness VIP package, including all session tickets to the Missouri Valley Conference Arch Madness Men's Basketball Tournament. Hotel accommodations, tickets to the St. Louis area attractions. Log on to ExploreStLouis.com for complete details. a Rob will go to the line. He is 85%. And after an early second half basket, he has been shut down by both Baker trading off with Jaquiel Cotton. Opportunities lost for Indiana State. A missed bunny and missed free throws will haunt you against the number two team in the country. goes after Baker. That's Baker's fourth foul. Lost a couple of opportunities. They still trail by five. I would want to create an opportunity right now. If Christian Smith can make the second free throw, I'm going all out, high risk, high reward defense. I'm trapping, trying to find a way to get one turnover against this very disciplined point guard in Fred Van Vliet. Splits a pair. Here comes the pressure. It's soft man, though. They won't trap out of it. I think every once in a while you got to test him. Wiggins, good feet inside, a foul on Kitchell. Good entry by Nick Wiggins. Greg Marshall is so good at coming out of a timeout and setting a play, and he got it down to Carter on the left-hand block. That's one reason why I like the trapping defense coming out of the timeout, because then you can't run yourself. Carter is 0 for 1 at the line. He missed a front end of a 1 and 1. In the first half, he's 63% for the year. 
And Greg Lansing with some offense for defense here. Cummings, the senior from Kansas City, gets a big rebound. You've got the shooter idol, number two in white. Jake Odom just gave him a glance. You gotta wonder what he's thinking. Penetration and looking to the backside to idol. Cummings in trouble, but he's gonna get bailed out. He's going to the line. David Hall's gonna call a foul on Darius Carter of Wichita State. And it allows the defense to offense two platoon play here for Greg Lansing. Double bonus for Indiana State. Cummings had a Hogan prep in Kansas City. Then he played at Coffeyville Community College. Shadrach Lufield from Wichita State also played at Coffeyville. Both of these programs have been able, Mark, to pick up some big-time junior college recruits. Well, when you recruit junior college in the Kansas area, I'm very, very familiar with the level of play. You're going to get a lot of high-quality players out of that conference. And another missed free throw. First of the night for Cummings out of six attempts. Three-point game at 3.15. Indiana State has left at least six points on the table. Missed layups and free throws over the last three minutes. Van Vliet's going to come and get it. Four to shoot. Van Vliet, nowhere to go. Shot clock violation. The defensive play of the game, Manny Arop on ball football. Watch Justin Gant as he helps right there. And they trap Fred Van Vliet. He's not allowed to run anything right there. Justin Gant's help is what made the play and the footwork of Manny Arop. And the coaching of Greg Lansing. They wrapped that play yesterday five dozen times, Mark. Jake Odom's got to get penetration here. Gant rejected. Six blocks for Wichita State. Early wants it low. They don't give it to him. They got a match up with DeWan Cummings down low. Clee Anthony Early is the guy you want with the ball in this situation. You got to dribble down and give it to him. He's got a size advantage. There he is. And gets rejected. He rolled on the perimeter instead of staying on the block. Cummings fouled by Early. Early kept calling for the ball on the block. He lost his patience and wanted the ball and came to the perimeter. And Dwan Cummings got right into the shooting pocket. Beautiful block shot right there. Are you surprised Early didn't take it on the bounce at Cummings? I'm surprised Wichita State didn't recognize him on the block and get it to him like they did about five minutes ago. Two straight misses for Cummings after he hit five consecutive at the line. You can't play tight and knock off the undefeated team in the country. It is now time for Indiana State to have some fun. They're tight. Six points for Cummings all at the line. And here comes Kitchell in for defense. Here's your pressure. Soft man again. Two-point game at two minutes. Marshall wants early on the block. They want the ball screen and then a pick and pop. Baker finds Carter. Odom for the lead. 
lead. Timeout prior to that. Indiana State calls timeout. Wichita State this season. And both of these teams have played big postseason games three years consecutively. Focus on number 13, Jake Odom, with Fred Van Vliet, number 23. Gant. And Wichita State's basket defense has been outstanding. Early. Basket and an one opportunity for Clay Anthony Early in an MVP kind of play. The defensive C parts for Clay Anthony. Watch the white jerseys. Look at that gap. And Clay Anthony Early fills that gap. And Jake Odom tries to step in and take the charge. But remember, if the ball is in its upward motion, you can't slide in. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It was the right call. Early has been outstanding in the second half. That's 15 second half points for Clay Anthony Early. Plenty of time, no need to panic. Stay in attack mode. And a rebound for Van Vliet. And I said trailing him is like trying to face Mariano Rivera's sinker. He can finish games. And it might be a lost start in college basketball, but Van Vliet, you get it to the late innings, it's over. He makes a lot of good decisions, and when you've got weapons like Lee Anthony Early and Ron Baker at your disposal, your head coach looks really smart, and your point guard understands the game. It all works into an undefeated role, and Van Vliet, unusual miss. And a foul on Lou Field of Wichita State, and a chance for Indiana State to get points, but the clock stopped at 46.6. Huge. That could be a four-point tournament. Bonus free throw, missed on the front end. Clock doesn't move a foul. Now Indiana State gets to shoot free throws. And I talked about Van Vliet being a closer. 84% at the line, and he misses the front of the one and one has given good minutes tonight to Greg Lansing. He's such a physical guy. He gives him that physical presence. He can roll out, knock down the long ball three, stretch a defense from the five spot. A-Rock can't follow it, but a foul underneath, and A-Rock will get a chance to get two more with the clock stopped. Here we go. Fifty fifty ball and Manny Arop finds a way. That's that value of athleticism that he brings to Indiana State. Arop, an eighty five percent shooter. That is his third point of the second half after having thirteen in the first half. They go ahead and foul Lufield. It's a good foul. They have six missed free throws in the second half for Indiana State. And at the line. You see those seven rebounds. The Shockers have been great with their basket defense. Six block shots. He shot that with tremendous confidence. Greg Marshall's team has faced a challenge tonight, but they're about ready to fight them off. Two of the really fine late game coaches in the country going after each other here in Terre Haute. And it might as well have been Baker Van Vliet up there.
Bluefield with the board. And the quick foul. Shadrach Bluefield, one year ago, was barely a serviceable big guy. In fact, you kind of had to make excuses to get him some playing time. But Greg Marshall has stayed with him, and man, is he paying off. He's athletic, he's big, he's strong, he can defend, and he keeps getting better and better. And just keeps swishing these free throws. How much did these guys grow up, though, at the NCAA tournament? Baker didn't play hardly at all. Well, they played during the regular season much. Van Vliet, you know how many minutes he played in this game a year ago? Ten. Ten. He didn't score. Yeah. A glimmer of hope for Indiana State. Bluefield. And Wichita State's going to get out of here. What? What a job by Wichita State to fight off Indiana State. And while we talk constantly about Fred Van Vliet, Ron Baker, the Anthony Early, the defense of Dekeel Cotton, you know why Wichita State won this game tonight? Because Shadrach Bluefield made significant contributions in a late game situation rebound after rebound defensively at the free throw line this road win belongs to that young man he has come up big late game and six big blocks for wichita state he's got to be if not the one of the most improved players in the Valley. Well, he's got company in his own team in that regard. Cummings has had a rough night. We feel a rebound again. The best road team in the country is going to get a 34th road win in the last three plus years. Two are still undefeated. 